Well, this park is kind of special to me. Been growing up here as a kid, this has always been a part of my life. The alligator is kind of the mascot of this beautiful park. The main thing is just monitoring the nest. It gives you a, a way to gauge the health of the population here in the park. You'll, you'll kind of look and you'll start seeing a trail where she's coming back and forth, kind of tending that nest. I just know. Barry Eversole is the longest serving game warden with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. And his son Cord is a biologist with Stephen F. Austin University. Together, these two gator guardians are going on the ultimate egg hunt. They are here to study the nesting habits of the American alligator. It's nice to get out of the office for one, so I spend a lot of time, you know, analyzing data and writing and, you know, doing office type stuff so that's probably the number one thing is it's a it's a chance to be outside and actually interact with the the things that you know that I teach about that I spend so much time studying and writing about took an interest in not only alligators but reptiles and wildlife kind of in general as a kid so I always knew I wanted to be a biologist grew up here just a few minutes from the park so alligators were kind of just a normal part of life growing up having you know my dad is a game warden and he was always dealing with some of the nuisance alligator calls as part of his day-to-day -day. and you know it's always kind of cool it's like oh that's my dad i'd go catch an alligator i'd stop by the house show the kid then he started volunteering out here at the park and, and everything else and ends up into grad school and decides his research project is going to be based on alligators it was just kind of a natural fit when he starts messing with that nest, he's got to concentrate. He's got, he got his head down in that nest and he's, he can't look around. So that's kind of what my job is, is to be to look out and make sure that that female doesn't sneak up on him and you don't let your guard down. So once we find kind of where they are, then you can just kind of gently pull back the vegetation and you do have to be really careful with the eggs that's about the average size of an alligator egg. I've seen some a little bigger, a little bit smaller. My guess is that these are probably high quality eggs. Here at Brazos Bend, the clutch size on average is about 30. There's some of them that are cracked. Within the next couple of weeks, they're gonna be hatching. Once they've collected the eggs, they'll incubate them using the same methods as the female American alligator, compost. You don't want to rush them, but the mulch is going through that decaying process. It's hot, it's humid. We're creating, we're falsely creating the nest, the environment in the nest is what, what's happening. All the visitors out at the park really like seeing the hatchling alligators. They can see them up close and they can use them as an educational tool. Working with the hatchlings is a really special and unique experience. Being able to help take care of them for the year, year and a half that they stay with us, it's really rewarding. In here I have the two hatchling alligators that we're going to be releasing today. They're ready to go back out into the wild. Whenever I put him down, you're probably going to hear him chirping a lot. That's a call for distress for their mother. They've just been moved from a tank that they've been in for about a year to this whole new environment. The thing that's really, I think, kind of kept my interest in alligators is that what I do on a, on a day to day allows me to go out in the field with my dad. I'm very proud of him. A father, to be able to work with a son in, a, in, a, in this type of environment is a rarity and I feel fortunate to work with him and all the stuff we've done over the years. Not very many people get to do what I get to do.